What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, I'm back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Last time we finished up the... I think we were in London trying to get the, uh, book thing, I don't remember what it was called. And then we got stuck by the second research, but now that that is done, now we may continue in our devilish ways. So, let's get that out of the way. Yay! Alright. Of course, I have to use this thing three times for whatever reason. <laughs> oh, you just got this item? Yeah, we're not okay with you just using it. Or just getting it. Please use it for us. God damn it. Oh, well. I would rather take uh, using it three times as opposed to having... Uh... Oh, I don't know. I lost any thought of what I was gonna say. I don't know, some other task filling it or something, something meaningless that I'd have to do. Anyways, let's look for that stupid fleshy thingy. I instantly already forgot what it was called. Huh, demon skulls, there they are. One gold apiece. Means I would only need ten gold to get my mount. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, already on one, so I just need two. There we go. Sanctification of flesh. <laughs> that is what they are called. Alright, well, anyways, with that taken care of, now we can start mission three. So. Alright. So, Retrieve the Dark Hold. Apparently we'll be uh, tackling... Dracula. By the way, I did change up my settings. Uh, I did a live stream technically yesterday and changed this up a bit. Since Heimdall is having some issues with himself, I've replaced him with uh, Sabretooth and Magneto with Squirrel Girl. And the demons also received Quicksilver. So, that said, let's start on Lamia. Strike team. Whatever. Back to London. I should have known we weren't going to get out of here easy. Dracula has shown his hand. He knows we have the book, and he doesn't want it to get back to New York. <clears throat> so he's pulled a mind control stunt, and we've got Black Knight, Union Jack, and Captain Britain all standing between us in a clean getaway. MI-13 is lending us a new Quinjet, but there's a catch. They won't clear us for takeoff until we break whatever spell th these three are under. The clock's ticking, people. I mean the bosses of this level are our friends? That'd be kinda cool. Alright, time to get things underway. First things first, a hero. We're cut off. Make contact with every member of the strike teams to make sure our communications aren't compromised. Uh, let's send... Here we go. Send Star-Lord. Sound off, everyone. We need all strike team Lamia members in close communication if we're going to get out of here and not leave anyone behind. Yes, sir. All right. Also, while I was live streaming last night, I was tinkering out two weapons. Uh, the Vampiric Blade, which I actually got from uh, a roulette, the uh, Daily Roulette. And, of course, the... Uh, oh, what was it? The uh, shotgun thing I got on recording. So, let's go play with that a bit. Alright. Sunfire and Squirrel Girl. I kind of regret not giving Quicksilver to my team, though, because I'm stupid. No, I did it to them because they're the ones with the demons. That's right, I did it so I could get the demon skulls. Okay, now I'm remembering my own plan. Alright, obviously gonna have to hit this guy. But he won't be too much trouble for me in my stake shotgun of doom. 
I don't know why I wasn't using this weapon beforehand. That's what it is, the Solid Slug Shotgun. Because it gives 150 damage to the undead vampires and demons. And since that's all we're fighting for this Spec Ops, I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense not to use it, except for when they dodge it. Why not? Plasma Sphere. Since this no longer hurts my allies. And let's burn the undead. Burning the undead works, right? Never really caught up on the proper way to dispose of a vampire, depending on which story legend you're looking at. You stunned me for now, but Plasma Sphere! Oh, look, turkey! Om nom nom. Right, just keep on giving him heated plasma. Oh, thank you, Squirrel Girl. Nuts to this. Alright, that should be enough of that. Now, Furry Fury! more acorn power. It's almost like pizza power, though a little bit nutty. But um, shh. Here lies my reputation. Doesn't exist. All right. More acorn power! Now that I've got him flanked. Let's get rid of all these debuffs on us, especially on Sunfire, because I think he's still stunned. Because he never got his turn. Psychic Amplify my Solid Slug Shotgun, because that's exactly what I'm going to be using. Damn it, right, they're protected. I forgot all about that. Oh well, killed him. Now, if you would, Sunfire, please put a hole in him. Thank you, Squirrel Girl. Once again, proving you are an invaluable member of my team. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to use the stupid ass things. Anyways, Black Knight's just disabled MI-13's flight control facility. He's got vampires with him. We're not going to get far with them running MI-13's air traffic. I'm ready. Vampires shouldn't be much trouble, but I don't want to hurt Dan any more than I have to. Is there any special technique to break mind control? Other than killing the vampire who did it? Not really. A couple of sharp blows to the head work sometimes. Then give that a try. Alright, I forgot to use the entire parchment thing that we were in there for. Great, I think I'll pull out Starlord for this one. I've heard from Phantom X and Blade. Fury have the rest been in contact? We've got everyone. Keep moving. Damn. No blood for me, sadly. I think I've got four of them now, so I'm almost a quarter of the way. Uh, Fury's going to hang on to the Darkhold until it's time to head for the Quinjet. Send a hero to clear this area around Fury's location. But make it look like a regular search and destroy. We don't want to give away its location. Any hero? Um, just about ready to make a break for it. 
on our borrowed Quinjet. Keep a strike team member on approach road to handle any last minute emergencies. Kang! And Tactician. Send a hero to avert all civilian traffic from the approach roads to the Quinjet hangar. If there's going to be a battle there, we need innocents out of the way. Alrighty. Alright, let's do an easy mission then so I can get this scroll crap out of the way. Alright. Yeah, let's see what these stupid things even do. Sabretooth, I need you to give me some very nice item that will extend my turns. As soon as I get to them ever, there they are. Chrono Accelerator. I know that's a lost page of the machine. Here we go. Moves and prevents bleeding. Grant's finest hour. That's actually pretty awesome. Here's my second one. Alright, now let's fight. kill you off. Or at least attempt to, anyways. Alright. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyways, last scroll we should have to use, and then we can just kill everyone. So! Sabertooth, that's where you come in. Well, I stunned two of them. That's a good thing, at least. Psychic scan this idiot who's going to attempt to breathe fire. Okay, well, he did it, but that's besides the point. This one is dead. Ah, oh, I'll hail the magic shotgun. More ravenous claw swiping. Alright, that should be it. Awesome, what's next? Captain Britain's cut off our approach to the Quinjet. Psylocke's our closest asset. This is gonna be awkward. Just how Dracula wants it. He's pulling out all the stops to hold us here while he tries to get the book. Psylocke, your brother's headed right for you. We can't get to the Gwenchen until we get... Yes, I know. Although one wonders why you can't just fly bloody commercial. I'm sorry, have we met commercial me? Alright. Our next task is to win three PvP battles, which... No, may not be that hard. Anyways, same drill as always. I'll do one PvP fight, show it to you, and then I'll complete the other two off screen. So, let's head into practice. Look for the easiest opponent I can find. Which according to this, they're all easy, but you know, I've had some trouble with some of those easies before. Ah. 
Mockingbird and Ares. Alright. The only thing I see being a problem is Ares' uh, 10,000 yard stare pushing down some of my debuffs. At least till Iron Fist's turn, because once Iron Fist gets around, I'm going to just completely leave that null and void. And I stun Mockingbird, which is good. So now she won't get her stupid fucking bonus turn here. Alright, heart of the show Lao. And praying Lotus. Now immune to the worst thing Ares could possibly deliver to me. I'm also technically immune to that. So please, Mockingbird, do try your best to try and kill me. And I fear you will fail pathetically. And indeed you did. So now, please, die. 10,000 yard stare has no effect on me, Ares. Thanks for playing. War never changed, but I can break the war cycle. I don't know where I was going with that. Whatever, moving on. Personal war. War, war never changes. I don't know. I just felt like saying that again. We haven't seen Ares in a while, and I really wanted to do his lines. <clears throat> I also really wanted to get this gunk out of my throat so I could speak properly. That could help, too. Alright. Easy peasy cover, girl. Is that how the commercials used to go? I don't remember. Anyways, that's one victory and I'll be back with two more. And there we go. All done. Yay. The hell? <laughs> okay. To recover all of our missing allies. Apparently our allies have been taken hostage. And by hostage I mean mind controlled by the devilish and evil Dracula. But we'll be doing that next time. So until next time, guys, I will catch you all later. Hasta!